everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Tisa and it's so great to have everyone here I am here I'm looking into September the 17th and the 18th is 2023 it's a message right now for all the signs everyone is surely welcome here please take what resonates in this message and leave the rest and don't make something fit here this is simply not your story okay so let's go ahead and jump into this energy see what we have going down right here this is a message for the collective everyone's welcome happy birthday to the sign of Virgo I really do hope that you're enjoying your birthday season here, whisper holy angels, September 17th and the 18th is 2023, please. All right, and we have one card here, September 17th and the 18th, 2023, please. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck here, we have courtship, and I will show you the rest of these cards right here after I get everything down here. Okay, so let's see if we can get this down. So you can see everything. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, message please. For the collective. September 17th, 18, 2023, please. Okay, okay. Message, please. Okay. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is the tower, major arcana right there. Okay. So let's see what we have here. We have the Five of Cups, Emotional Loss, Great Fortune right here. Okay. We have right here, Message of Concern right here, Nine of Pentacles, Material Harvest. And then we have a Privileged Lady right here and a Justice card. Okay. So let's see what all this is talking about. Now, this deck right here that I'm going to use right here to clarify everything, this deck is called a tarot and space deck. And the lasers in this deck is the swords. The planets are the pentacles. The rockets are the wands. And the comets are the cups. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into this energy. Five of cups right here. Emotional loss. This affects somebody right here, okay? Now, this could be a craze because every time I see this, I feel like a water barrier. So, I feel like this could be a craze, but it doesn't have to be, okay? But the Five of Cups right here and Great Fortune. Message right here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Allow me now here to be the channel right here. Emotional loss right here, okay? This is a relationship. Knight, Knight of Cups is about a relationship right here. Okay. So, you know, that's what somebody here is definitely focused upon, a relationship right here. Okay. I did want to invite you guys to um, one of my other channels. It's called Scent Star 555 Seer the Mystic. And I'll put the link down below so you can go ahead and check, check that channel out for messages for all the signs. Okay. Four cups right here. Some might feel like it's a missed opportunity right here with you in a relationship. And I feel like that's kind of affecting them right now. Okay, yeah. The world card right here. I feel like they didn't want something to be over right here with you. All right. The world. Maybe some cycle here is complete in here some type of way. They did want a new cycle right here with you, you know. But they just feel like something here is not going to be the same in a relationship right now. Okay, yeah, the judgment. I feel like somebody has either been awakened that is really not the same, or um, they may have sacrificed this relationship in some way. Okay, yeah, I feel right here. So, you see this one right here? Third eye chakra, maybe somebody here is intuitive, or they got intuitive message. Could be the case. Okay. Yeah, somebody knows they have to be realistic or in some type of way right here. Okay. They have to be realistic about this relationship in some way. Maybe somebody here was awakened and somebody was um, rejecting their offer, something like that here. Okay, what's a great fortune? Yeah, Queen of Wands right here. Okay. Could be a fire sign right here. Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius here. Okay, maybe it's a fire sign right here. Great fortune right here. I also feel like an Aquarius could be significant right here, okay? And the Queen of Wands is a leader. Somebody here that's an entrepreneur. Maybe somebody here makes plenty of money, I feel, right here. With the Queen of Wands right here and the Queen of Wands, yeah. I feel like these people could be out in the public, maybe. But it could be right here that somebody here is a great entrepreneur. Or somebody feel like they could make plenty of money with you with a great fortune right here. Card, okay? Yeah, the death card right here and the star. 
So this could be somebody here that's famous. Maybe somebody here that's famous as Aquarius or um, a Scorpio, maybe. Okay, and I was already getting Aquarius. So I feel like definitely Aquarius right here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Scorpio. Right here. But somebody feel like they lost hope in the situation right here. Right? So I kind of feel here. Right? Or some or maybe something had happened with money. The great fortune right here and the death and the star. Maybe something had happened with money in some way. Okay. Something could have happened with money and now it's affecting the relationship. Could be the case here. Because this five of cups right here is a card of like regrets or um yeah, so I feel like something here about money is somebody's worried about it. Okay, somebody feels lost right here, or they lost some money in this relationship in some way. Okay. Or when the money left, the relationship left. Something like that could be the case. What's the message right here, please? Okay. This evil could be right here, right? Yeah. This evil could be that something ended right here. So, wait, ten of swords right here and the ten of cups right here. They feel like this is the last chance at this relationship or they feel hurt, I feel, right here, you know? Somebody feels restricted, I feel, because the Knight of Wands is wanting to do something here fast, okay? And then the ten of swords is like ending. All right, or um, yes, I kind of feel this even could be somebody has insight here now that somebody was lusting. Could be the case, somebody knows they was lusting right here, and so that really could have affected a family in some way because the king and the queen of wands maybe affected a family. I'm like, something here about lusting is affecting somebody's money or a family, all right, something like that. It's affecting it. I'm getting right here, definitely. Okay. If somebody's somebody's kind of heartbroken about it. I'm getting an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, a Aquarius, or um, a Scorpio here. He had a ten of ones, and then we got these three tens right here. Something here ended very quickly. I feel okay. Three tens in a reading. Something here ends quickly, abruptly, in some way. Okay. Right. Yeah. Because either somebody found out somebody was lost in. Could be the case here. Or something happened with some money in his family, the type of way. Okay. And that makes something end quickly in some type of way. Okay. Or that ends the hope with money in some way. Okay. Because it was lusting or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Material harvest right here. So, the Nine of Pentacles. Could be a life full of luxury. Absolutely. Sometimes I look at the Nine of Pentacles as a Virgo. Message of concern. Somebody here could be very much concerned about something right here. What's the message right here? Material harvest. Ace of Pentacles right here. See, the Ace of Pentacles is something here that's very stable. It's dependable. It's definitely reliable. Somebody might look at you as a lottery ticket in some type of way. Okay. What's the message right here, please? Yeah, the sun is right there, okay? And then we have right here the page of pentacles. This was a lot of money. Something here was a lot of money right here with these three right here. Absolutely. I feel like success, money. Okay, that could have been, um, what's the word? That could have been like an overload of messages about money in some way. I kind of feel. I feel like somebody here was living a really good life right here. I feel like something here is plenty in some way right here, okay? Something here could be a whole lot of money. A Leo could be involved in something right here with a sun card in some way, okay? Or a Virgo or anybody else. What's the message right here, please? Yeah, two of wands right here, okay? So somebody has the clarity right here, right? That this is a lot of money. Definitely, okay? What's the message of sun right here? Six of Wands is reversed. Somebody's not victorious here in some type of way. Right? Or well, somebody could be concerned. See, this was some bill or some money. Something like that. I'm getting like somebody's concerned about it right here. If somebody's worried about how much money is being spent 
or the fact that they're not getting no money. So they're like, they're right about that right now. What's the message right here, please? Message of concern? So these two cards make me feel like somebody's bored or something like that. This one right here and this one, right? So like somebody's bored with these two. So a message of concern is either that somebody's not getting any recognition from you or time from you. Could be the case. That could be the case. I just feel like with these two, there's somebody's bored. I hear with these two. I'm not sure. I feel like they're bored or somebody needs to take some action or, or something like that. They both look sleek right there, okay? All right, so five of wands right here and the five of cups, okay? Now, these fives right here, something's changing, and they're worried about how something is changing right here. How they not get any recognition from you or something like that, so how something here is causing conflict with you. And then regret about that. Or somebody's focus upon a loss right here about something here. Okay. The four swords even could be a health concern. Okay. So this could be a Capricorn. I'm going like somebody here is having a health concern. Could be a Capricorn over here having a health concern. Or anybody else it could be. Okay. But somebody definitely feels stuck right here. Okay. All right. Or well, somebody's not big. I feel like somebody's bored. Okay, maybe there's some more people here. There's too many people in the house here. Okay, maybe somebody here wanted some excitement from another lover or whatever. It could have been the case. Okay. There even could be some big conflict here some type of way about money. Maybe somebody here was tempted to do something right here with money in some way. And they regret about it, I feel. Because they're definitely stuck, right? Okay, they're concerned how they're stuck or they're concerned how they're bored. Something like that. I do feel like life is good, but somebody's bored in some way. It could be a husband right here or anybody else. Okay. Or what somebody does for entertainment is it cost them money. Could be the case here. Could look like that. Okay. So justice is served here, some type of way. Now this card is the wife. Okay. So the um, wealthy man is the husband, and this one is the wife in this particular deck. Okay. So the privileged lady right here. All right. Justice is served for somebody here, a wife or a privileged lady or a privileged person. Just a message right here, please. The balance card right here. Okay, yeah. See, somebody, see, some money, some somebody here is going to come out of debt. Right here, five of pentacles of rose is coming out of debt. Okay, maybe that's somebody's karma over here. Their karma right here is to come out of debt in some way. Right, well, they're not going to be stuck here financially. Well, they're not going to be stuck in the house or something like that. They're not going to be stuck right there. I'm getting right here with some message here. Because justice is served in some type of way, right? Or it's a cause and effect for something that somebody doing somewhere here, okay? Because I feel like the five of pentacles of verse is coming out of a financial bond here some way. Or it's coming out of poverty. It's coming out of foreclosure, something like that. Yeah, six of cups right here. Okay, so six of cups right here is the past. Okay. Somebody's having nostalgia. They think about in the past. Okay. Yeah, could be a Virgo. Maybe Justice is served for a Virgo or Libra or anybody else is served right here. Somebody even could come out of the dark because somebody was actually single in the past. Maybe somebody realized they were single in the past right here. Now I'm not sure because I feel like over here the King and the Queen of Wands, if this was actually a relationship, that I feel like somebody could have been acting like they were single for some people here. Or maybe somebody got bored, something like that. Because I did get the those those cards over here that look like somebody was bored. Okay, so I feel like somebody was bored. Okay. And they're concerned about something they was tempted to do over here because they was bored, I feel. 
Okay, because I feel like they was in a relationship, but I feel like they was acting like they were single over here. Somebody could definitely came out of the dark about that in the past. Okay. Yeah, the fool. So that's unexpected to somebody here that somebody realized something right here. Okay. Or it's unexpected to somebody right here. They was living a real life full of luxury right here. Okay. And now justice is definitely served. Somebody has money over here, I feel. Yeah, Ace of Wands. I feel like somebody want a new beginning right here with you. Okay. Now let's see what could be right here. Somebody could be finding out about sexual activities with that card right there. Okay. Yeah. So justice is served though for somebody here. You know, it's just the way it is. Justice is served. So if somebody here was being single and they was in a relationship in the past, somebody came out of the dark about that, they realized that right here. Okay. I feel like somebody's coming out of a financial bond right here for some people right here. Okay. Somebody feels defeated now about getting some money from somebody in some way. Okay. That's one, one way it could be. Could definitely be a wife over here. Okay. Or well, justice is served. Somebody knows they're single. They just know that. I feel like they know they're single right here. Okay, justice is served. Somebody's defeated financially then. Somebody else is going to come out of the dark for you financially. All right, something about money, somebody is going to realize that. I'm getting my hand. This really could hurt somebody right here. That somebody decided to be single because they didn't have any money. Could be the case. That's for some people here, right? Yeah, but the truth is here. It's definitely here. It could be a water sign, right? I mean, um, air, air sign, a prayer sleep, a Gemini. The king of swords is somebody that's very intelligent right here. Okay. Very clear, very direct right here. Okay, somebody knows they're defeated over here financially, or somebody here does know what they need to do here financially. Something like that. Okay. And I feel like with the Ace of Wands right here and the Fool, this is a new beginning in some type of way right here, financially. Even somebody could be holding money now. Maybe somebody's holding money here now, financially. Maybe somebody's asking somebody what you're doing with the money right here or something like that. What's the privilege lady? Yeah, could be a Virgo. The Hermit car right here. Could be a Virgo. I just feel like somebody here is doing some deep reflecting right now about money. Yeah, they're reflecting about money right here. Justice is served was a cause and effect right here. Something about money in some way. Okay. Whatever they was doing at leisure time over here for fun or for entertainment, I feel like they was tempted to do something over here in some type of way because they was bored or something like that, right? But that's a cause and effect for it over here in some way. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a challenge right here to get somebody's money, I feel. It could be a challenge right here, right? Or somebody's defensive right here. Somebody even could be heartbroken right here because they have to hide their money or something like that or put up money or whatever. They could be heartbroken about something like that, I feel. Okay, because I feel like with the hermit card, somebody here is looking deeper at their money for some people right here. It's going to be a challenge to get somebody's money here some way. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So somebody over here has self-love, okay? Because somebody could have went way too far over here. I'm not sure what they was doing over here in their leisure time, right? Or something when they was bored, they could have went too far or something they was doing over here, I feel, for some people here. They could have definitely went too far over here, okay? Somebody has self-love and everything like that. That This makes somebody watch their money and all kinds of stuff like that, whatever they was doing over here, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because somebody definitely had clarity to whatever they was doing. Okay, so I just feel like it's going to affect their money now in some way. Yeah, or they're powerless because somebody knows the truth about something here that happened over here. Okay, what's the courtship card? Yeah, they're powerless. Some people here, they're powerless. I'm getting right here, right? Or somebody here feels restricted now, something like that. It even could be right here. Um, maybe somebody here was bored. They felt restricted in a relationship for some people right here, right? Okay, so I feel like something they decide to do in secret or whatever, that really could have caused a big tower moment. I'm getting right here. It caused a for real tower. It caused disruption to a whole relationship. I'm getting right here for some people right here. Okay, because something here could have been a secret or maybe even something here was an illusion. Could be the case. All right. Something here could be a cancer or Pisces or something like that. Somebody's going to get bad karma over here. 
for something that was happening here in love. Okay, they're going to get back karma right now. I'm getting a Leo is definitely involved right here. A Libra or Virgo. Something like that. Pisces or Cancer is who I'm getting right here. Right, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe. Yeah. They're powerless at some illusion. They're powerless at something over here about um, some fantasy or whatever. They're powerless at something like that. Okay. Somebody's inner strength is really, really strong right here, I feel. They, they definitely got bad karma right here with Justice Car Reverse. Definitely. For some hidden truth or whatever they was doing over there. Or a third party or something like that. Yeah. Because somebody definitely knows the truth about whatever they was doing here in secret. It's revealed, I feel. What's the disruption card right here? Whatever the secret is, somebody knows about it. I mean, they definitely do know about it here. The tower is a revelation. And somebody figured out something here about sex, about a Gemini, about some decision that somebody made in some way. Right? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. This even could be right here. If somebody here is not into something here sexually, they know about it. Right? Or if somebody here made a decision right here not to be open to something, somebody's going to realize that right now. Okay, they're gonna realize they're right there because somebody here is skilled. Okay, they really are skilled. I'm getting right here. Tower was a revelation that you're skilled. You realize they're not open up to something here. Could be sexually for some people right here. Yeah, somebody walked away. Somebody walked away here. Okay, and that's a revelation that somebody here did walk away. Is I'm getting right here. Okay, it could be a mother, could be a divine feminine right here. Taurus or Libra, Aquarius or Gemini right here. Okay. But I'm hearing here divine intervention. And that's why we had a tower over here in the Justice Reverse. Because something here is divine intervention here. Right here. Okay. So I feel like this is a this is really heartbreaking to somebody right here. That somebody realized they walked away from something right here. Okay. They're gonna tower again. The truth right here. That somebody is realizing they walked away here. Could be sexually or anything else. Okay. But that's that's a realization right here. I'm getting like somebody's liberated. Okay, liberated right here. Or free or something right here. Or you walked away, they could feel that right now. They definitely could feel that. I'm feeling for some people here. Okay. So anyway, this is what we have right here in this message. Okay. Thank you so much for taking a look here. And I send you peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to you.